Hello, my name's Russell Gray. I'm a freelance conductor. I have been for the last 15 years and uh, welcome to my office. I find myself in Olborg Concert House with the Olborg Symphony Orchestra this week. Excellent. I just lost you a little bit in a couple of places. Yeah. Um, here. Yeah. And also there. I wasn't quite sure. Okay, so yeah. we're going to have this cadenza. I'm yeah. leaving you clear for this <laughs> there and then I'm going to wait for you. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go, it's one. Buddy, la da, la di, la da, la di, la da. Okay. And I'll get a feel for your tempo. And then the orchestra comes in. So you can ignore that. It's more okay. for the orchestra. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> ah, one. Sometimes I'm asked why am I a conductor? And it's actually quite a difficult question to answer. But I remember when I was a boy at school, um, there was a little chamber orchestra came in to the assembly and gave us a concert. And I think looking back, that's possibly when it happened. They affected me quite deeply when I had left the hall that morning. I had decided that music was going to be the path that I chose. When I was asked to put this programme together with the orchestra, um, one of the things that I really felt important was to invite new young professionals um, onto the platform to, to perform solos. So um, that's quite important to me. I think we have to invest in the future and find new talent. <laughs> It's great to work with Russell. Yeah, it's a massive privilege. Um, I've known him for a few years um, through brass band connections, um, but this is the first time I've, I've had the opportunity to work with him in a professional uh, capacity. Russell's extremely musical. Bravo. Well, you just made that sound very easy. <laughs> yeah. But was it a bit slow? Yeah, maybe a little <coughs> bit quicker. Yeah, just a little bit. I think it kind started of, at a great tempo, and then yeah. it just seemed to. It's got to be relaxed. Settle. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it just has a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, I'll just. We don't need to play it again because no, no. I think it's a bit taxing. Yeah, yeah. But I'll just tell them what's. Yeah, yeah. And then tomorrow, I think it'll fix yeah. itself because there's just two things I think will work. Um, <clears throat> that sounds great. Back there, strings, you're absolutely fine. Balance, no problem. It's actually. The, the biggest problem is the brass, and it's just the nature of the nature of the beast. The other aspect of this programme that I've managed to bring to the party is a new living composer who is making a very big name for himself. So I'm bringing him and introducing him to Denmark this week. Bravo. It's very exciting. We nearly got the finish. We nearly got the end together. That was so close. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the flute um, part, the piccolo part, uh, I get a lovely sound in bar 10. That comes out nicely. And this, uh, but the next crescendo, I wonder if you could, in bar 11, just bring that out a little more so they get that colour at the top in the middle of the bar. I think Russell's done a, a really good job um, on the piece. I mean, he's really clearly learnt the music. He, um, <laughs> he's, he knows exactly what's going on with all the parts um, and brought out all the detail. There's a lot of notes <laughs> in my piece, considering it's only five minutes long. There's a, there's a hell of a lot going on. Um, and it's, it's just a real privilege to kind of work with someone who spends the time to get to know the music 
um, and can, can really bring it to life. As a freelance conductor, I often have to go into a different uh, situation, week in and week out with different ensembles. And uh, as a conductor, I'm sort of in charge of the temperature in the room, and it can be quite tense at the beginning of a week. So um, one of the things that I like to do is uh, to try and have a little bit of a sense of humour in front of a new group, because it diffuses the situation and is a nice icebreaker and I often find that um, doing music and in the communication business if people are relaxed they're very much more receptive. Okay, okay. It's just it's a little heavy uh, footed partly my fault of maybe just a couple of notches too slow it, it's for me it's processional I don't know what's going through your head when you're playing this but <laughs> some very strange things go through my head I don't think I'm exaggerating if I say he's the orchestra's favourite conductor. He's fun to work with, he's very professional, he's structured, and he gets what he wants and what he needs to hear. But he does it in a very, very positive way, so everyone's willing to, to actually help and, and join the party. And it's, I think the results are great. Fantastic. I'm done. Thank you. It's been a pleasure and a delight. I've really enjoyed working in a sauna for three days. You would think I would lose weight, but it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. But it really, it's been a highlight for my year coming here and working with you. So I'm, I'm, it's just a thrill for me. So. I'm looking forward to tonight. Sometimes I get asked the question, what drives me? And um, I think the biggest buzz that I get is engaging with other people. After I've had a rehearsal, if I can see everybody smiling with bright eyes, then I can leave the room feeling that I've done a great day's work. <laughs>